what on earth is going on here? Do you expect me to look really shitty by the way? I've actually got food poisoning. Hooray! I've just cried off work. And I'm about to go home actually. Have a little lie down. Look, Formula One simulators. A bit weird what's going on today. There's like a big Formula One event. After I've had a little lie down, by the way, I'm going to come back this evening um, into town to um, watch the Formula One cars go up and down Whitehall, which is going to be quite interesting. I have to admit, here's a little secret for you. I have to admit that I've been a Formula One fan since I was about 12. I used to like, enjoy watching like Damon Hill and stuff. I kind of fell out of love with Formula One, though, back when I started to figure out that or big global corporations are evil so as soon as suddenly i had a schism and i realized that oh my god esso is evil shell is evil and um, all of these big sort of oil companies i started to realize were a little bit evil and uh, it made me deeply upset because it ruined the sport that i'd loved my entire life kind of carried on watching like anyway i still watch the formula one now anyway sometimes but yeah, there's always a tinge. I mean, with all that big business and big money comes obviously a lot of corruption and like the corruption in Formula One actually over the years has been pretty obvious. Um, been mapped loads of scandals, you know, crashing cars on purpose, embezzling money, secret deals, that sort of thing. And uh, quite apt actually that this is going on today because there's also a, a state visit today by the King of Spain, from the King of Spain, which is where I'm off to now to go to film. And um, you may w well be aware that the, um, the Spanish royal family are, well, they've had a lot of corruption scandals. In fact, they even had to, uh, the last King of Spain had to abdicate because of the corruption. Basically, he him being accused of embezzling money through a bank or something like that. Um, so yeah, no doubt with the King of Spain and his lady wife, who used to work for CNN, by the way, uh, with them coming down to meet the Queen and Prince Philip, possibly they've come to get some advice as to how to, you know, have a corrupt lifestyle, yet have a completely plasticized image of complete um, innocence and non-culpability because uh, that's something definitely in this country the royal family have always done very well. Quell scandal, even to the point of obviously one of them mysteriously getting murdered and death notes and all of that kind of stuff. Nobody seems to care about that anymore. You know, Prince Charles will still take the throne when he gets his chance. You know, nobody's gonna ask too many questions. Wow, it's quite something actually, isn't it? Oh, these riot vans, it's astounding. There we go one or two, you know, guardians against corruption, guarding the people who are corrupt. Hopefully I don't look too pasty or anything. I really do feel really, really bad. I've got sort of like a stomach cramp limp, but I won't go on about it. Hopefully I'll be feeling a little bit better later on, but yeah, I'm gonna hang around here. Obviously big Spanish flag.
Well, there were some pretty impressive vehicles there. I didn't really see very much, to be honest, did I? But never mind. Just for fun, after I've gone home to have a little lay down, I'll come back to see some mildly more exciting vehicles. Holy crap. I wish I hadn't turned up to this thing like any minorly early because holy shit, bag searches. I've just walked all the way around and you cannot even get through. The queue up and be searched, mate. No, confirmed even celebrities having their. I oh, know he's walking straight through, sorry. Yep, it's all good, thank you. Mm. Hello. Just filming myself being searched, don't worry. My mobile phone. Thank you, sir. Yeah. That was actually fairly efficient. It's only two and a half minutes. Good smoke. And welcome to the first ever F1 Live in London. Please give a big hand to your hosts. Rochelle Humes and Jake Humphrey! Holy shit. Well, uh, um, yeah, we it changes, but it stays the same. I'm trying to get in. I'm not sure if I can actually get in. They've done a crafty thing here of like, think, letting everyone think they're in, but we're not actually in. And I can hear drilling, like, are they preparing the row? This is really weird. They're fixing the road like really loud while there's a live event being recorded on the stage. They are drilling. Just goes to show that London is ready. London is open. Whatever city Khan's special phrase is. We just have to wait for the car to turn now. selfies with the Ferrari truck. There's one of our friends in a, a little spy. He's having a whale of a time. This is the most exciting thing that's happened to him ever, I think. Sherlock Holmes doing a roaring trade. Yeah, I mean, no real conspiracy about a Formula One event in central London, other than the fact, other than the British Council probably organized it this is a piece of international propaganda you know very very high profile you know you know you see and of course an automobile event the Royal Automobile Club the old boys network has brought this here well that's a bit awkward once you leave you can't go back in apparently so I left to try and get further round couldn't get in came back can't get in they say run to capacity is literally like being refused entry to a private members club. Oh well, saw some cars, etc. 